Hello everyone, we are from Digitronics Nepal. I will be with you on lab sessions of this course. Hope you will enjoy the lab sessions. Now we are going to look into Xilinx system generator for DSP. So first we will see how we will integrate Xilinx system generator for DSP into our MATLAB. So to integrate it, we will need to system generator MATLAB configurator to open it with administrative privileges. That means uh, run as administrator. And now you can see here. In, uh, there are two MATLAB versions and uh, I've already configured for R2013B. If it was not configured, the status will be not configured. Before we can integrate system generator with MATLAB, we need to make sure that the two versions of MATLAB and the system generator are compatible with each other. We can uh, know about the version compatibility in the Xilinx uh, website uh, in the support. So if it was not configured, then we will be click this and apply. But uh, I have since uh, already configured, uh, I'm not going to do this. And when we have uh, configured it, we're not going to open our MATLAB in the traditional way. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to open the system generator. When we click this system generator, it will open this MATLAB interface. And uh, what it will be different is the workspace of the MATLAB will be different from our uh, traditional way of opening MATLAB and uh, opening through system generator. We will see that in the current folder different FPGA board names and these are the parts. So these are the plugins provided to the MATLAB by uh, Xilinx system generator. Now again we go to the Simulink library block and uh, when we go down in the libraries we can see that there is Xilinx block set, Xilinx reference block set and Xilinx extreme DSP kit. These are the blocks that have been added by system generator to the uh, Simulink. So there are some basic elements and uh, now we're going to use these uh, blocks uh, and create a simple design. In previous as we did adder in Simulink, similarly let's create adder but in system generator. So let's open a new model. New model. We're going to require first and foremost in every design will require a system generator token. Without system generator token, we will not be able to synthesize our uh, system generator blocks into implementable BTStream files or project for Xilinx ISC. So now that we have added a system generator token, now let's add adder. Add. So we're not going to use the Simulink block, but instead we're going to this Xilinx block. Here. So it is called add sub. So this block can do both addition and subtraction. Now require a constant. We're going to use one uh, Simulink uh, constant and other other uh, Xilinx uh, system generator constant, and see how we interface this with each other. So we can interface this uh, constant block directly with our add sub block but to interface this constant uh, block uh, that is a simulink block which uses double representation number format we need to interface it through a block called gatewayin will convert this double representation into a fixed point representation we can connect it to the gateway in and add sub so again there is no display block in xilinx systems generator so we need to use the display block of Simulink and again to interface that display with the add sub we need gateway output. So the gateway output is uh, to interface the output or signal that is coming out from the Xilinx system generator block to the Simulink blocks. So we require a display block. Display block. Gateway in. Gateway out. So now let's uh, view some settings. In add sub, we're going to do add. So it is addition, no latency output. So you can do full precision, or again, we can define a fixed number of bits. So when we optimize our design further, we can uh, use these settings to further make it. So now, okay. So in gateway in, we need to fix point representation. We can use either signed. 
or on sign so 16 bits width of 14 fraction binary point fraction uh, bits representation uh, is done by 14 bits so there is only two bits for integer so two bits can only represent up to number four so we need to increase it let's make it 32 bit number with a 16 bit fraction so there are total number of 16 bits for integer representation and 16 bits for fraction representation so we're going to keep sample per year as it is and other settings also as it is because we're not dealing with signals so just adding some numbers so in this constant also we need now we also need to make fixed point precision 32 and 16 otherwise if it was 16 and 14 it will not have been able to uh, represent our constant value 10 the value would have been cut off so as you can see okay let's see here it is 10 has been given. So if we change this number of bits slowly, let's say for 16, number of bits with 14 binary point bits. And if we apply, it will not be able to represent this 10 and it will decrease. As you can see, the number has been increased with fraction point with 1.9999 something and later on. Because it is not able to represent the whole number integer 10 with uh, 2 bits for integer. So for constant also, whatever we constant, uh, let's say we use 15. Uh, so we need to take care if this 15 uh, integer can be represented in this gateway in or not. So we have used 32 bits with 16 binary point, so it can represent this 15. So this both number 15 and number 10 will be transferred to the add, and it will add and output to the display. So in gateway out, we do not need to uh, do much settings. Because it's uh, just interfaces, you can see uh, converts dialing fixed point or floating point type inputs into outputs of type symbolic integer, single, double, or fixed point. So, no settings there. Now, in system generator token, also there are various settings, but this, this scenario we do not require it to modify or alter alternate. We'll leave it now. Let's uh, run this simulation and we need to see the out 25. So as you can see, the system generator token is uh, compiling these uh, Xilinx system generator blocks with the given settings. And as you can see, we get the output 25. We can also just change, now let's change this 10 to 15. So as you can see. Now also we can do what is this? Change the operation of this add sub block. We can also subtract using this block. We just need to choose subtraction. Click OK. Now, if we run, then we need to get the output 0. Because 15 minus 15, it will be 0. So if we change this 15 to, let's say, 30, then we need to get the output 15. It's just uh, basic mathematical operations. As you can see, uh, it has been successful. So now, let's see how we can give this generate signal from uh, simulink block and uh, interface it to the Xilinx system generator block. So we're just going to pass the sine wave through gateway in and gateway out and to the scope to see the sampling effects. We need is a sine wave. We're going to use a DSP system toolbox sine wave and then Gateway in and gateway out blocks. Gateway in and gateway out blocks. Through this, at the end, there will be a scope. So, this is the scope. So, we connect it. So, in a sine wave, Keep the amplitude 1, frequency 100, and the sample time is 1 by 1000. So, uh, so the Nyquist uh, criteria was it should be at least twice the maximum of the maximum frequency of the sine wave. So, sampling it with 1000, so it is enough. So, what we need is we need to put in this gateway in. Also, the sample prayer should be 1 by 1000. And we also need to set the sample period in system generator token. 
we need to go to the clocking and there in the simulating system period we need to put it 1 by 1000 we need to match all the sample period in the blocks now if we run it for 10 time seconds we'll see that in the scope so this is the scope this is the signal generated so it is in zoomed out format we need to zoom in either we can do the auto scale when you click this block it will auto scale the signal the signal has been auto scale according to the size of the display so it is still not clear so we can scale the axis also so if we want to scale the x uh, y axis or x axis we zoom uh, to zoom the x axis we'll click this and we this much we need or zoom it even even so as you can see so the signal has been uh, zoomed in and you can see that uh, this is the sine wave so it is uh, not more natural like uh, it's analog because uh, we have only taken sample thousand samples per second so if we increase the sample period let's say if we increase the sample period to 10,000 increase the sample to 10,000 uh, signal will be more smooth and more like uh, analog sine wave so as you can see that the signal is more smooth out and seems like more sinusoidal compared to before so this was the basic uh, introduction to Simulink and Xilinx system generator how we can use different, different uh, uh, Xilinx system generator blocks to uh, design our model based design thank you